Hello, everybody. Are you ready for another super fun science experiment? All right. So what you're going to need today is kind of like a baking bowl, a flat, flat bowl, like a um, or container like this, probably a pie tin would work or whatever you think would work best. A bowl. Fat milk with lots of fat in it. So fat free milk will not work for this experiment. I repeat, fat free milk will not work for this experiment. Dawn dish soap. food dye and Q-tips. Um, another thing that you could use in this experiment are cookie cutters. However, I am not the best baker, so I don't own cookie cutters, but I'll let you know when we're at the step of the experiment where you could use cookie cutters. All right, so first what you're going to do is you're going to pour the milk into the baking dish or another flat bottom surface. You don't need a lot of milk, just enough to cover the bottom and then some. All right, so let's begin by opening this milk. Hopefully I don't pour it all over me. There we go. We are on a roll. All right. Next, sorry about that. Next, you are going to fit, use those, use that food dye and fill the top of the milk with drops of color. You can add some glitter here too if you want, but that's optional. I'm not really a glitter person, so I don't own glitter either. I know, I'm quite unexciting. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with yellow. Start with some yellow. And this is the part where you could use cookie cutters, and you will soon see why. All right, now I'm going to add some green, because I think that'll look pretty. Green would look quite pretty. Green. And it's okay if it starts bleeding around, it's supposed to. Now I'm gonna add some red. It's so pretty. Science is so pretty. And finally, I'm gonna add some blue. All right, so what you would do for this one, if you had cookie cutters, is you would put some drops inside the cookie cutters. Now what you're gonna do is you are going to pour a bit of your dish soap into the second bowl. So not the bowl with the food coloring. You're gonna pour the dish soap into the empty bowl. It's got nothing in it. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Do, 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 do. You're going to take the Q-tip and bring it over to the milk dip and gently touch the surface. Gently put the Q-tip in 
the um, dish soap, not too much. You don't need a lot, you just need a bit. And now you're going to gently touch the surface of the milk with the soapy cotton. And I'm gonna show you what happens. Ready? Whoa, it's going everywhere. So if you had a um, uh, cookie cutter, it would go to in the shape of the cookie cutter. Whoa. Ooh. Magic milk, magic milk. All right, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about the science of this magic milk. All right, let's talk science. Science, I hope you enjoyed the magic milk. That was pretty cool. All right, so milk is made up of minerals, proteins, and fats. Proteins and fats um, can undergo changes. When you add the dish soap to the milk, the molecules run around and try to attach to the fat molecules in the milk but you wouldn't see that without the food coloring. So the soap heads for the fat, which is what creates the bursting of color. When there is no more movement, all the fat molecules have been found. And if you wanna see if there's any more hiding, try another cotton swab dipped in soap. And that is our science experiment for today. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of your day. Bye.